Here we are ready for our next lesson about turning. I've opened a new project. I'm going to go file, save project as, turning 101, save. Now for my first program, I'm going to double click it. There we go. And I'm going to turn, or I'm going to call this program called spin turn. There's going to be two types of turns we're going to talk about later. This is going to start with a move steering block. Now we can do um, our turns according to uh, rotations to start. Here's where we're going to play with our turns. When we do a spin turn, a spin turn would be in place. So it's going to turn all the way to 100 and we're going to go for Let's do five wheel rotation, just to see what it's like. After downloading my spin program, it's called Turning 101. And if I select the folder, I can go down to the actual program. Now a spin turn is going to be like spinning in place. So I'm going to put him here to kind of demonstrate where he's going to go. Make my paper flat and I'm going to push the select button. That was five wheel rotations. Let's talk about rotations. So when you do a spin turn on the map, if you turn around in a full circle, that's 360 degrees. But when you are looking at how much your wheels should spin to get to 360 degrees, you need to think about your motor axle. One rotation of a wheel is 360 degrees. So to figure out how much it's going to take to turn the, let's look at this guy really quick actually. This is showing your motor axle. If this goes around one time here, that's 360 degrees. But that doesn't mean it's going to turn 360 degrees on the table. We know that we just did five wheel rotations. So it went around multiple times, but we want to try and get it to so it's at one, um, one spin. And the way we can do that is to go up to our port view and we can go up here looking at our motors. Now when we turn our robot around and around and around we go. Then we end up at 741 degrees. So instead of looking at turning for a number of wheel rotations, you'll want to go on for degrees. And we learned that was 741. We can go for 740. Now this is not an exact science when it comes to a spin turn. But I can go ahead and download that then to my robot. And now that that degrees for 740 is programmed onto my robot, I can go ahead and push select to play the program. And it looks like he went a little far. So now here's where I can go for the guess and check and I can decrease my quantity of degrees just slightly to become more specific to 360. Now, in addition to the spin turn, you can also have your robot do a U-turn. So I'm going to start a new program. And I'm going to call it the U-turn. I'll be adding a move steering block again. But this time, instead of going all the way up to 100 to move in place, I'm going to go to 50. I can slide this slider, or I can click on the number, and I can type it in and push Enter. I'm still going to stay at 50% power. And let's try five rotations and see where we get. Now, after downloading my program, I'm going to make sure I've gone to the file, Turning 101, and now I'm at U-Turn before I push Select. And watch how this spins differently than the spin turn. So that was five wheel rotations. Notice this wheel didn't move at all. It was all the left wheel or the B motor that was doing all of the rotation. This one stayed still. So now if I wanted to go only to the 180, so I wanted to turn halfway around like a U-turn, I'd go back up to my uh, port view. And now remember we talked about our, was our B motor that's going to be turning. 
So as I'm turning, I'm going to be careful to keep this wheel from not turning and rotate this wheel as I press it on the ground and move them around to over here. And it's going to tell me 738 degrees. By using the port view on the robot, we know that we want to go 750 degrees. On for degrees, we're going to go 750 degrees to try and make a 180 degree U-turn. And I'll download that to my robot. And I'll go back over to my file folder, the clipboard. I'm going to click on turning 101 and go down to U-turn. Now we're scheduled for 750 degrees of rotation. Let's see if we can make it to 180 degrees on the paper by doing 750 degrees of a motor axle rotation. 